Hello and welcome to the Chapter 2 podcast on Section 3. We're going to talk about um, atomic structure. So now that we've identified the building blocks of the atom, let's talk a little bit about some of their properties. Um, in the previous podcast, we talked about the identification of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So this summary here kind of illustrates some of their properties in terms of charge. Now while pro uh, electrons and protons have charges in terms of coulombs, for our purposes, we'll just call them plus one and minus one because they essentially cancel each other out. In terms of their masses, you'll notice that um, they're slightly more than one AMU with the proton being a little lighter than the neutron itself and the electron much, much smaller in comparison. AMU is short for atomic mass unit. It refers to um, a, a mass for atoms. It's kind of like grams, but at a very, at the atomic level. Um, it is based upon the most common isotope, which is carbon-12, which is uh, carbon with six protons and six neutrons. And we'll talk a little bit more about isotopes in a moment. When we're talking about elements, they are what we call electrically neutral, which means that the number of protons equals the number of electrons. And then this figure on the bottom kind of illustrates the size and scale of the atom itself. So you can see that the nucleus is very dense in the center and it makes up a very very small portion of the overall volume of the atom where you can see that most of the atom is actually empty space where the electrons are. In terms of uh, using some of these numbers in some basic terminology um, we have things known as mass numbers. Now, the mass number is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. An atomic number uh, is the, just the number of protons. It could also be equal to the number of electrons if we're talking about an element which has an equal number of protons and electrons. And then this is the symbolic way to represent what we call an isotope. Isotopes uh, for elements, um, these are situations where you have equal numbers of protons and electrons, but the number of neutrons is what varies. Okay, We can also represent isotopes using this symbol here with just the mass number in the upper left only and sometimes we can give you the name of the element with a dash and then the mass number so earlier I said carbon 12 that would be carbon dash 12 and the 12 refers to the mass number of the element and that is it for now